So you guys might have noticed if you follow me on Instagram or even watch my past videos that on my kidney grills, they're pretty messed up, like the paint's chipping off and all that. When I first bought the car, the kidney grills were obviously chrome. So I just uh, painted them, which I probably shouldn't have. I mean, I mean, it worked for now. So I bought some double slotted kidney grills that I will be installing today for the main part of the video. And then I'll just kind of do kind of like a ride along in future plans I have for the car. So let's just get right into it. So this right here is what I'm talking about. It's pretty ugly. Plus I think the double slotted ones will look way better and more sleek. So pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and bring the car here in the shop or at least just the front end. And you don't have to take the bumper off on these. You can just take the top screws off and kind of reach behind it and you can pop the kidney grills out. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So pretty much just pop the hood and then take these four t30 25s i'm not sure what they are take these four off and then you can pull the bumper over and you could reach behind and unclip these so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and also don't mind my dirty engine bay i'll have to get that detailed here very soon just like that guys we got the old ones out you see right here how bad it's starting. I don't know, these just look really ugly, but let's go ahead and open the box and get the new ones out. All right. Pretty good packaging. Got these for Amazon. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You guys can see, huge difference. So let's go ahead and uh, pop these in and we'll see what it looks like. Dang, huge difference for sure. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You can even see like the little V brace even better now. All right, let's bolt everything back on and get the car out in the sunlight and see what she looks like. But it looks freaking good. All right, we got the car out. Should have done this a long time ago. Before the sun goes down, and get some pictures for you guys. And I want to also talk about other future plans I have for this car, little mods I want to do. Other miscellaneous items, shenanigans stuff I want to add. All right, guys, I just got some pictures. Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll put them up on the screen for you guys. But what do you guys think about these grills? Dang, boy. Honestly changes the look a lot. I like because they're super glossy and the gloss really goes with the little eyebrows I have. But yeah, comment down below your guys' thoughts. Honestly, I don't know why anybody wouldn't like these. Guys, now that we're back in the car, I am losing a little bit of sunlight, so I'm gonna work with what we got. Sorry if the lighting isn't the best. But I kinda wanted to talk about future uh, plans I have for this car, or like little modifications I wanna do. I put one of those polls on Instagram asking, what, asking you guys what else I should do to this car. So I've obviously done I guess you would say a lot aesthetically to this car to make it look the way it does right now. Um, the next thing I want to do for sure is uh, wrap my roof black, 
either wrap it or uh, find some kind of paint, maybe like some type of plastic dip, but like a higher quality plastic dip, because wrapping is wrapping vinyl is a uh, pretty pretty hard. I give credit to anyone that can wrap vinyl, but I don't know. Whichever, I'll do a little bit of research and see what what's the best choice for this. But I definitely want to do that. I think it'll change the car. I think it'll make the car look a lot better, more aggressive with the black. I pretty much want to get like a full uh, lip extension all the way around the car. So I want to get like a front lip for the car, uh, side skirt extensions, and uh, do something with a diffuser. I have a plan since I do have a quad exhaust and that doesn't come stock. So it's kind of hard to find a diffuser, but I think I did find one that's uh, attachable to the current uh, bumper I have now, which I think a lot of you guys will be interested in that do own E90s. Um, it's super simple from what I heard to install salt. So I'm definitely going to get one of those. And also a video that will be coming up soon is an overview of my exhaust. I know I did make a video over that, but it was just kind of really broad and I didn't really explain the whole exhaust system I have on my car. And, and I get DMs almost like every other day asking what kind of exhaust I have. I also get a lot of people asking me like how I make my car pop and all that. And uh, I'll definitely make a video on all that. Cause I know it's not very common for like these N52 engines to like sound like this, I guess. But I will definitely make a video on how uh, my whole exhaust system works and what I have set up and everything about that. I also want to try to find some uh, M3 style mirror caps. I think that'll complete like the aggression of the car for sure. Uh, what do you guys think about canards on the bumper? I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about those. I don't want to make it too extra, but let me know what you guys think about those. I, I might be putting those, I don't know. We'll see. I do really want to purchase a drift build here soon for you guys. I really want to get into drifting. I have, I have been drifting before a couple times. I'm obviously not a pro, but I just enjoy it a lot and I really want to get a drift build. If you guys have any recommendations on cars, obviously I'm going to stick to BMW because all, my whole audience is surround, surrounds like the BMW content. If any of you guys are into drifting, please uh, let me know what kind of chassis or model you guys recommend. I was thinking about doing like the neat E30 or E36, like an older chassis. But then again, I also really like, I've seen some Z4 builds, which look pretty dope, but I don't know, I'm not set on anything yet. I wanna hear from you guys. Uh, recommendations and I know there's definitely some of you guys out there that are into drifting so I'd appreciate if you guys kind of point me in the right direction but I definitely want to get a drift build here soon I know I've been building a couple cars now I mainly did those to just kind of make a little bit of profit some money so I can bring more content for you guys on the channel for example the 335 the E92 I had for a little bit I ended up selling that I still have the F3328 it is listed right now if you guys are interested in uh, F30, please let me know. It's still for sale right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be trying to come out with videos at least once a week. That's like minimum. Right now, once a week is very doable, so I'm gonna stick to that for now. I'm obviously gonna sometimes do more than once a week. If you guys don't yet follow me on my social media, that is all linked down below. My Facebook, my Instagram, I post a lot on Instagram. I also post these exact same videos on Facebook if you guys are more interested in watching them through Facebook. I don't know why you would be, but I do post these on my Facebook. And then I also have my Snapchat. If you guys wanna contact me through any of those, and I also did put the link to the Kidney Grills in my uh, description. I put the links to every modification, anything I do on this car, they're all in the description, all the links. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys go ahead and check those out. Uh, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you guys for the support. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.